Hey guys, Charles here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to find hidden PBN backlinks as well as hidden backlinks in general. Now, I'm not going to say that you are going to be able to find every single PBN that is out there that has got a hidden kind of setup, and especially if some people have set up their networks properly, it's going to be very difficult for you to go out and find their PBNs. That being said, in some of the niches that I am in, I've been able to reverse engineer and find out people's hidden PBNs and then use the what I wish with that data, as well as actually finding people uh, that are very big in the SEO industry that you likely will have heard of and finding their networks as well. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. There are actually several different types of methods that you can use to find hidden backlinks and hidden PBNs and realistically you're going to be wanting to use at least two or three of them if not all of them so that you can find the most backlinks possible because some techniques will find some links, some techniques will find others. So carrying out every single one of these tactics you'll get the best ability and the best chances of finding all of the hidden PBN links and hidden backlinks that your competitors are getting. The first one up is alternative link checkers. I've listed a few here such as open link profile, a backlink watch, backlink test, monitor backlinks and rank signals. Some of these do have paid versions but all of them include free ones that you can simply put in your put your competitor site into and hopefully find a few links. And the majority of these aren't blocked by uh, the standard HD access and robots.txt files that a lot of these plugins and a lot of these people who create them in forums actually use to try and hide their PBNs. Obviously if some people are clever enough then they'll block all the bots on this available one so that's why you want to kind of use the other available tactics that you have to try and find the hidden links. The next one which is my personal favorite is Google operators. You can see one here that I've done where I can find links that are going back to my personal site. You can see here that it has uh, it's highlighted links that are going back to several of my sites from other pages such as Facebook, Twitter, uh, my previous blog God of SEO as well as Hypestat and Google+. Now there's actually 12,000 results here which means if I was to kind of scrape this with uh, with Scrapebox then I'd be able to find over 12,000 different kinds of links that were linking to my site. Included in that was likely a ton of hidden links. Now unfortunately with this method it's not 100% accurate with a lot of sites and a lot of the time the search operators don't actually pick up properly what the sites are doing. There are other Google operators that you can use such as one where you actually look up the RSS feed of uh, PBM blogs and look for the uh, actual contextual version of the link rather than the scripted one where it doesn't actually show the um, link on a, from a personal side but the RSS feed shows a link as the HTML text rather than this side display where it just shows the anchor text. Reverse engineering, who is data? Now this one obviously is extremely hit and miss. Um, if you go onto the money site and have a look if the who is available, if the who's information is available for that site rather than the person has actually bought a who is privacy guard, then you'll be able to run a report. A lot of them do cost to be able to run those reports to check every domain that is associated with that person, uh, persona's persona or that person who owns that domain. I've actually done this before in the past and found quite a few PBNs that people have registered because a lot of TLDs uh, such as .de, .co.uk etc don't actually allow for who is protection so you have to put up uh, your actual who is details on there and when registering domains a lot of people don't change or make new uh, registration accounts which means they'll show actually the who is information of them owning it on there already. You can also then reverse engineer non-hidden sites. A lot of people when building PBNs will mix up the amount of sites that they're actually um, putting on that are block bots and some that are not block bots, which means that you can actually reverse and check the who's overlaps, reverse engineer, engineer the hosting to see what other sites are hosted on those IP addresses and reverse engineer the other sites on that PBN to find more PBNs uh, if, if they're buying links rather than just using a custom built PBN for that site. I know these tactics are quite broad to do so that's why you have to kind of use all of them to try and find as many different links as you can thanks for watching subscribe for more videos down below you can follow me on twitter at charles underscore seo or on facebook slash the charles float you can also join my free seven day seo course at charles slash join have an awesome day peace no, no, no.